that large corporations have even said you don't have to have a degree. So what are they looking for, right? What are they looking for that's going to separate you from the pack? What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be talking about college. Now college is something that for me was a struggle growing up. You know, all through high school I was told you gotta get a good degree, you gotta make sure that you go to the best school possible so that you can, you know, get the best job possible that's gonna pay you the most amount of money. And of course, even though that was something that I heard again and again and again, somehow I managed not to go down that path. It took me like seven years to graduate. Somehow I did graduate from Colorado State University with a bachelor's degree, uh, bachelor's of science in business administration, but it was a very tough journey for me. And so if you're out there listening to this and you're in college right now, or maybe you're in high school, uh, you know, and you're, you're struggling with this whole thing of, of college or being a good student, or is it even worth the money? Some of these things, uh, you know, go back, watch that video possibly to give you a little bit of, of my perspective on that. But if you are in college and if you're committed to going, you wanna finish it out, you're even maybe considering a master's degree or, or some other secondary degree, I want to talk to you about the differences between online college and in-person college. Now, I think it's important to bring up here that the differences between these two are really going to matter to you based on your goals. So if you're listening to this right now and job experience is going to be really, really huge in the field that you're going into, there's not that much uh, of a research component to what you're doing. It's heavy, heavy practicality. Uh, or maybe the industry that you're going into, there's a huge subculture that you have to really understand and get into. Then in that case, I would choose an option that you're going to be able to fast track yourself as much as possible through the college platform and through the college journey, right? Now, when we think about online college versus in-person college, uh, there's been such a huge change over the last 10 years in how we see college, right? Online college before used to just be University of Phoenix and some other options. And of course, I'm not bagging on University of Phoenix at all here, but the degrees from, some of these online degrees were not held in as high esteem. But now we have Princeton, we have Harvard, we have some very, very large uh, universities that are offering online programs and some complete online, you know, end-to-end -end, uh, online bachelor's degree programs. I believe master's degrees were offered far before because, you know, as a secondary degree, colleges were assuming that people were working during the day and they had to go get their master's uh, classes done at night. And so that process would take a little bit longer and master's classes, master's degree classes, were the ones that opened up first. But this has led, of course, the huge popularity uh, in that has led to bachelor's degrees and all sorts of other certifications opening up. Of course, with coronavirus happening now, so many people are at home and so many of these universities have opened up extended online learning capabilities. And I think we're gonna see a huge shift in the traditional brick and mortar model to an online model. But again, let's go back to talking about which one's right for you. So as you're thinking about college, you gotta ask yourself the question, you know, how important is the name of the college that I, I go to or I went to, uh, how important is that for your job? And this is changing significantly, right? It used to be that, you know, jobs that were highly, highly competitive only took people that went to a select number of schools. Now we're seeing it's not like that, right? Now we're seeing that large corporations have even said you don't have to have a degree. So what are they looking for, right? What are they looking for that's going to separate you from the pack? I believe it's a lot more than just the piece of paper, the degree, right, that you have. It's about the experiences that you have. It's about the breadth of life that you've had. And it's very, very tough to do that when you're at a brick and mortar college. Now, you're gonna be able to tell throughout this, I do have a little bit of a bias towards online school because that's what I did. I was able to start a business, simultaneously complete my bachelor's degree, and for me, that was huge. But for me, I didn't just leverage online education traditionally, I also used a number of little hacks. Now, I wanna go in detail for some of those hacks because there are things that I've heard so many of the people that I work with and just students that I come into contact with, they're not aware of these hacks. So I wanna take a separate video do a college hacks video, but I used a mixture of club testing and all sorts of different things to kind of speed my college process and getting those 120 credits done so I could get that piece of paper. I still wanted that as a security blanket. Um, so yeah, as we, as we think about online college versus in-person college, you gotta ask yourself again, does where I go matter, right? And then are there elements of the college experience that are actually going to enhance 
my career and what I want to do? Or would it be more beneficial for me to create my life and my career and kind of start my career, maybe at a lower entry level, uh, entry level stage while getting my degree and while going to school? And if that's the case, if you think the practical, hands-on uh, experience in your industry is going to do better for you, then in my experience, it is way better to just start with online college start knocking those credits out, get your social environment from your friends and everything else that's, that's going on around you, right? But focus your school just on getting it done as quick as possible, focusing on your career, building your resume, and that will also allow you to take on internships and do some other things that typically you may not have time for because you know, you'll be going to classes during those times. So. In my opinion, again, as we look at online college versus brick and mortar college, I think we're going through a massive, massive change. I think it's not just enough to think about it in terms of expense anymore. I think we need to think about it in terms of the dynamic nature of the life that you're able to lead if you're doing an online class and you're able to fit it in your schedule versus being locked into showing up to a classroom you know, multiple times a week um, I, I think that that is going to be a big, big consideration. One example that just comes to mind right away is my cousin. My cousin is a professional BMX rider. Uh, she's riding for the Swiss national team in the Olympics that are now in 2021. And she was able to complete her bachelor's degree by going to online school as she was traveling to Germany and China and so many other places for these competitions. So again, you see the incredible flexibility that online learning gives you. And she didn't need that component of you know, in-person interaction because she had such a social community built in and a sports community built in with what she was doing. So you gotta ask yourself, it's gonna be different for each person, but you gotta think of the time that you're spending, you gotta think of the money that you're gonna be spending, and you gotta think of what's your outcome. And even if you don't know, even if you don't have a decision exactly of how you want your life to look, you know, way down the road, you still need to have an idea generally of like what you like to do and the direction that you want your career going so you can set yourself up for success. And one thing that I've noticed across all of the people that I've hired and all of the interviews that I've done is it's so important to show that you are flexible you know, to a future employer, you're flexible, you're dynamic, you have a number of different experiences that craft you and craft the person that that hiring manager, that business is hiring. And I know when I see someone and I'm looking at their resume and they don't just have school, or they're not just in process with school, but they also have internships and they have travel that they've done and so many other things. I'm very interested in that individual because it shows me that they're very dynamic and there's a breadth of experience that they're bringing into our culture and to our business family that really could help enhance our brand. So I think many hiring managers are also thinking that way and I think as the focus is less and less on the type of degree you have, the more beneficial it will be to go an online college route that actually just focuses on you being able to experience life while also getting your degree done. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love uh, to hear your comments below. I'd love to hear if you guys you know, are currently attending college or if you went to online school or maybe you're going back to school, what you're considering, uh, I would love that. I'd love to hear and, and talk with you guys in the comments below, so let me know. Again, you can connect with me on Instagram, at John O'Eamon. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn, so look me up, I'd love to hear from you and have a kick-ass day. We'll see you in the next video.